In this tutorial, we will learn how to use a feature in SMS called the functional surface. This is what the functional surface looks like. By the end of this video, you will be able to do this with your model. We will use an existing model of Cimarron River through Langston, Oklahoma. The model in this video can be made by following the tutorial at aquaveo.com. The link to the tutorial is in the description below. But any model that generates a time step output will work as well. First, we will clean up the display by turning off all unwanted layers. Be sure to keep the 2D mesh layer on. This is where the functional surface is displayed. Also, we want to keep the map image data so we can texture map it later. Now to turn on the functional surface. Go to display options. Choose 2D mesh, then uncheck everything but the functional surface box. If other layers or other meshes are displayed, it will interfere with the look of the functional surface. Now we will set our functional surface options. Click the option button to the right of the functional surface box you just recently selected. Then in the drop down menu under Z offset, select display surface at location. Adjust the color and transparency to your liking. I'm going to choose blue for the water and I will adjust the transparency to about 50% to give the illusion of depth. Click OK. Now let's project the map image data over the contours to make the 3D environment a bit more realistic. In your display options, choose General. Then under Texture Mapping in the Display Location drop-down menu, choose 2D Mesh. Now we are going to enhance the contours to improve our visual interpretation of the model. On the same tab as Texture Mapping, under Drawing Options, change the Z magnification. This exaggerates the dimensions of your model in the Z direction. This also makes the functional surface easier to visualize. We will change it to something large, like 8. Now let's frame our model. Click the Frame button on the toolbar, then rotate and scale your model on the screen to achieve your desired view. This will be the same view of your video, so make sure to include a nice shot of the river cross section for effect. You can see what the Z magnification did here. It made the cliffs steeper and the valleys deeper. Essentially, it accentuated all the topography, making the relative water level easier to interpret. Before exporting a video, we will check to make sure that our model and our model view are how we want them. Under the Project Explorer, click the time steps and run through a few to make sure you get the visualization that you want. When you are satisfied with the way the model looks, we can film the loop. Go to Data, then Film Loop. Click Create AVI. Choose your save destination. Click Next. Keep the default film loop time. Click Next. Keep the default codec. Then finally click Finish. The video will then process frame by frame for each time step. Once the video has finished processing, SMS will open the video in a built-in video player. Depending on how you want to present the video, you can open the saved file in any video player that will play an AVI. A video to show the functional surface is a great way to illustrate the effect of a given rainfall or storm. And it's an easy way to impress your clients.